Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Last time, we beat the game. And this time, let's uh, load our completed file in the Windfish's egg, because there are still a few more things left to do. Obviously, some more Dompe minigames, but also one other thing that is somewhere in the world that I should probably just warp to, or warp closer to. Let's head over to the village. This is, this is basically the only other thing that I can think of that I haven't done yet. Actually, no, there's one, one other thing in the village that I don't think I've completed yet because of it being slightly silly for me. How many rupees do we have? 1,308. That's pretty good. Now, let's go to the crane game with our completed file. And this is kind of silly, but there's another statue here after the finish the game. You would think you would be able to get this before the end, but nope. So anyway, let's see if we can get it. This is not going to work, but anyway. Oh my goodness, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Oh, don't let go. Oh, it let go. This is going to be a bit of trouble, isn't it? Oh boy. Here we go. This is, this is fine. We've got plenty of rupees for this that I could be spending on actually getting... You know, good stuff, like, uh, more chambers. But nope, I'm just busy spending it on this, trying to grab this thing. I think it's good. It's looking good. Just don't break. Please. I beg you. <gasps> it's fine. Everything's fine. See, everything's fine. That was, that, that's, that's just fine. I'm gonna put this statue where it belongs. I'm leaving here forever. There we go. You got a Bow Wow figure. It's scarily realistic. You've got a good eye and a steady hand in here. That makes you a champ and he there's a lump of rock to prove it. I think it's called a chamber stone. So we get that for doing all of that. And listen, no champ pays more than five rupees to in a, a go in my establishment. Yay, so now I only have to pay 5 rupees every time instead of 10. So I could gain a lot more rupees faster if I wanted to grind here, but I don't. So, uh, bye forever. Let's go put this statue in its spot just for completion's sake. Hello, Bow Wow. Okay. Let's place the figure. It's a Bow Wow figure, guaranteed to stay perfectly still, whereas the actual Bow Wow is not. Okay, well that's done, and I think there's one more thing to get in fishing for catching a big fish, but I just, I, I, I probably should verify that I've actually done that yet or not. So instead, I guess now that all that's done, let's head over to... Um... Probably going back to Dompe, but I'm going to quickly, very quickly, go buy another chamber stone because we're going to need to buy a lot more of these since that there's up to 15 overworld chamber stones. We haven't got them all yet, so we're going to have to buy quite a few for a lot of rupees. Okay, let's press the button to warp. Oh, actually, I think I know something else I should probably do first. Where, 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 where do I want to do that? Do I want to just buy it. I might just buy it since it's probably easier. Let's go to Manbo's Pond. I lost my magic medicine. Oh, I think I actually don't have many fairies either, so I should probably fill up on those. Yes. Somewhere. There was three extra magic medicines or secret medicines in the dungeons that I didn't pick up because, I, oh, I don't have enough rupees, so I'm gonna... I guess I'll go to the face shrine and pick up the one there. Or is, is that the easiest to get? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Ah, why can't I just go get the thing? And why does it have to be... Why can't I just stack them? Is the real thing. Why can't they stack? Oh well. I guess we'll go pick it up. It's not that far in, I guess. 
But I would prefer to just go straight to the dumping minigame and get that going. Since there's something else we can do there other than just continue building chambers or dungeons with the chambers that we've got. Oh my goodness, dodging like a pro. Oh, I just realized I could have warped closer. Like way closer. Oh my goodness. Just go through here. Just go through here. Just uh, go through here. Is am, am I going this way? I think it's this way. But yeah, I could have just warped to the seashore mansion and just swam here. To be way more efficient. Okay, I've got so many arrows right now. And I got it back somehow. Without, and still went down the passage. That's probably good. Now, need my hook shot. There we go. This is a lot of work to backtrack for one item. Okay. So I think I need to go right, right? Right, right, right. Maybe? I'm not entirely sure. It's probably fine. Probably. Those, those took a while to activate, wow. Now down. Oh, I see the problem. This is getting more complicated. I should have marked where our thing is. Oh boy, they're all the way over there. Why is it being complicated to just do one thing? Oh well. It's fine. Everything's fine. Where does this go? There, that's not going to help me too much. Just go through here. And here, and then... There we go. <laughs> now to head back. Ow! Just go, just go through here. Okay. Gonna go this way. Oh, Link is so slow. Okay, now we can... Can we? Yes. I almost forgot how the puzzle was done. Almost. I understood the basic idea, but I just couldn't remember if it was correct or not. Ah! Okay, let's grab this. There we go. Secret medicine. Now let's get out of here because I don't want to spend as... I want to spend as little time as possible in here. Basically. Warp to entrance. Let's get out. And then warp again. Again to Dompe. Actually, you know, I forgot that other second step of getting more fairies, so I might go do that. There's an easy spot up here though, so let's go do that. Because the, the fairies just seem to respawn in that place. In this one place. I could also just get a, an, another heal, just so I'm at full health. Which seems a bit silly, but I, I don't know. Might as well. Every bit counts, you know? Okay, let's put that there. Let's reload. Oh, I almost grabbed it. That could have been bad. Anyway, put the feather on that, I guess. Okay, last fairy. It's a good thing there are only three bottles and not four. Although it'd be nice to have four, probably. It'd also be nice if they worked in Ocarina of Time style, which is really overpowered when you think about it. Because the ones in Ocarina of Time just heal you if you die. It's basically the magic medicine in a bottle. Or the secret medicine. Whatever it's, whatever it's called, it's fine. Anyway. Now let's do the Dompe's thing, since we have more chamber stones to use. And also I'm going to be introducing a bit of a twist. So, let's talk to Dompe. Hey there, company is always welcome. 
Oh, you've got a new chamber stone. Let me make that into a chamber for you real quick. There we go. And we also got this. Monsters plus effect. Apply it to a chamber at, to add a horde of monsters. So what are you here for? Well, let's go to Amiibo because when this game was released, there was a special Amiibo made for it, which is the Link's Awakening style Link Amiibo. So, let me just tap that down. Oh, I need to put it there. Okay. And for tapping that in, we get the Great Fairy's Chamber, which I think we get two of. And we also get the Shadow Link effect. Cast a terrifying shadow over your dungeon. What are you here for? Well, that's a range, because we're gonna... Oh boy. If you thought it was difficult before, we now have the Dark Link, which basically is... Three times harder than it was going to be before, so forging a sword. I'm going to put in some limitations to where I can use this, though. Anytime there is a restriction with hearts or sword, I'm not going to be putting it in the dungeon. So that's just important information to get started off. Forging a sword. The sword's not done until it's all filled in. Start, a, start at the bottom left, then work your way up to the right. Master arranging it, and you can have something. Okay. Well, let's uh, put in an entrance, I guess. And then let's start arranging before actually looking at some of the new stuff that we have here. Uh, the... Yeah, I'm going to explain that after I've actually built the dungeon. I'm going to explain all of it later. So for now, let's figure out how I want this to work. How many of these do I have? I have a few. I can put a few in. Do a fair bit of... Oh, that one's a very silly one to use, but also that one. I don't want to use any... I want to use as little things as possible. That's probably not the best way to arrange this, actually. There's, there's so many better ways I could do this. Got a pass-through fairy there. And I think another fairy. No? Am I wrong? Am I just wrong? Am I that, am I that wrong? Well, there's this one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just remove these. Let me actually build from the start to actually get a better idea. I need to also put in a, a boss. How? How? This is so strange. Okay, let's just put that in there, I guess. That's such a weird... This is such a weird dungeon to put a boss like that in. Although, what I could do is just have that there. What's this room? Okay, that works. Okay, so you basically return to the entrance to do the rest of that. Now, do I want to put something there? No, I don't think so. Oh, new room I saw. Oh, it's that guy. And he's got a chest as well. Let's put that in there. But I also want to put a chest in here. Oh, not there. There. And also one here. We can put this guy in both areas. Wow, that's cool. Okay, pass through time. I just want to, I want chests, that's just what I want. But also, I probably want to put in a mid-boss there. Just to make things a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna put one there as well. Now I need a split path here. I think I'll go with this one. And then, something to connect here. None of, oh, most of those don't have chests in them, which is interesting. Let me use you. Do I need another pass through? That's crazy. Um, let's go with this one. That one's pretty simple. Now, how do I want to arrange this? <laughs> That's the real question here. Do I want a four there? Or do I want it differently? I might... I might do that there. Also I need one of these. Down here we might as well put in some bosses to make this more interesting. I'm <laughs> okay this is the last one of the chestnuts so I need other ones I need to do that for which is probably gonna happen a, f a little bit I think maybe 
is gonna have to have have that happen. Okay, um That boss is basically pointless. That one's annoying. I'll just put this one in. Okay, now, how do I want to arrange this next room? I might put the slime boss in there. Now, let's put in something here. I could also use some tunnels if I wanted to, but I'm gonna... I might hold back on the tunnels a little bit. Might use another one here as well. Do I want that one? That one means I have to fight that annoying guy, but I, I guess I'll do it. It might be- it might give me better rewards, you never know. Okay. I want to put this mini boss in. It's, it's probably my favorite mini boss, is these uh, snakes, as they're called, which should be called globos or something like that, I think. Okay. What if... What if... I do something... Like... That. Okay. Okay. And then, I go to here. And I put... This in. That was cracked now, so it needs to be blown open. Now, we just have th three more rooms to put in. I might just make them... I'll make that one like that. Now, two of these rooms have to make it actually worth it, so any room that doesn't have a chest in it is pointless. Um... That one's an interesting one. I'm gonna put that one in there. And I guess... That one? No, I'm gonna use this one. This one's a... This one's actually a pretty good one. It's only got... It's only got the booze in it, but it's... I still think it's pretty good. But anyway... Now... Let's explain a few things. This one... This monster's plus one will basically double the number of enemies in a room. I don't think- I don't think it works with bosses, though, so... Actually, there's only a few types of rooms that it does work with, apparently. It's very limited, but also very interesting as well. I might put it in this one, since that one's a cool room. We can place down more than one, apparently, so that's interesting. That one's a no. That one, no. I might put it in that one. And then... Running out of options. Probably that one. Oh wait, there's still more. Can I just place an infinite of these? I can, okay. So never mind, let's... let's I only, only want to have three of those, so let's remove that one. I want to remove that one. Keep that one. Keep that one. Remove that one. Remove that one. And remove, remove that one. Okay, just three, okay? That makes sense? Cool. Oh my goodness, Darklink, I guess. Oh, why can't I... Oh, because that's a boss. Let's put him up here. So this is on the main path, so we have to run into him. There's no avoiding it. Let's put this wall master in here. As well. I'll explain these two in just a second. They, they're both very similar, but also very different. Let's put the money on the final room. The hearts, probably on this one, maybe? I guess, might as well. And I guess replace... Ooh, no, that's not what I want to do. No, that's the wrong one. I... This one... Th the icon changing is confusing me, that's all. Okay, let's fill every remaining room with bombs, and then... That should be just about done. Okay, there we go. So... Wallmaster... Is a hand-type enemy that will spawn in whenever you go into the room that it's in. Only when you go into that room. And then, from that point on, it will follow you around the dungeon. Okay? The, the Dark Link does the, about the same thing, but it works differently, so... The Wall Master, if it grabs you, will take you back to the first room of the dungeon, I think? I have not been grabbed by it, so... I cannot confirm. You can kill it, but it will respawn. Dark Link is like a second Link that is a shadow, and is super- he's really strong, and he's- he doesn't follow in your footsteps, like Shadow Mario- no, um, Cosmic Mario from Super Mario Galaxy. 
he will just go directly to you and attack you. He can teleport around the room if you if he can't reach you. So you have to be careful with that, but that could also be useful. Uh, he will attack, he will hit your sword if you try to slash at him, so it's very hard to hit him. He, he can be killed if you're very lucky with the way he spawns, uh, of, uh, if you just like hit him when he sp as soon as he spawns in before he can actually have a chance to dodge you. That's the only time you're basically going to be able to hit him. So basically you're going to be trying to run away from him the most of the time. Or trying to attack him so he gets pushed back away from you. So he can't get to you as soon and you get a little bit of extra time. But yeah, he's really difficult to kill. And that is including the fact that I was attacking, I killed him using the red mail and the coholent sword. So it's really, really hard to hit, kill him. You might not even want to kill him at all, basically, so you should, you might actually want to switch from the red mail to the blue mail if you have him in your dungeons. I'm going to stick to the red mail because I, I prefer a challenge, really, and it makes it slightly easier for I want to actually demonstrate me killing him. But with all that in hand, I will demonstrate this in the next episode, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.